For this particular trim level, we've got a unique front grille on it, a sport hood on it with the decal. We have the steel front and rear bumpers, which are obviously powder coated. Uh, this one's got the matching black skid plate in the front, sport projector headlights on here, sport tail lights, and uh, it looks really neat. Let's check out the side. Royalac comes with power folding mirrors, courtesy lamps, turn signals, wheel flares, this one's got our 35 inch aftermarket wheel upgrade on here, front leveling kit. Um, as you can see, we've also got a carbon fiber accented trim on here, black badging, powder coated black matching running boards, blacked out handles on here as well. As you can see, it's nice and aggressive rear tire package on here as well. Gives it a really mean look, especially with those aftermarket, or sorry, with the Mopar heavy duty shock absorbers that are also included with this Warlock package. As you can see in the back, sport tail lights, steel rear bumper again, with the parking rear sensors on here to obviously make things nice and easy. Backup camera comes standard on these inside the handle. We've got our four and seven pin wiring harness for our trailer brake controllers if we ever if we need those. Uh, this particular one already has a hitch on here as well. Dual exhaust and again, more blacked out badges. Uh, this one also has the tonneau cover on here, multiple fold tonneau cover for Mopar. Makes it super easy to keep everything safe, everything dry, and easily folds in and out of the way. The other option this one has, which is fantastic, is the rear lighting in the bed, which is push button on here, or can be activated through your remote as well. Um, we've got remote start on here, heated seats and heated steering wheel, which are also great features on this vehicle, which are activated right off your remote too. Once you restart your remote start your vehicle, uh, first thing in the morning when it's nice and chilly out, it'll automatically throw the heated seats on there for you too, which is a great feature. Let's go check it out inside. Inside this Warlock, we have a slew of great features. Uh, we're gonna start off on the driver's door step panel where we've got the power folding side mirrors. We've got obviously our power windows, power locks. Uh, on the dash, we continue over where we've got auto headlights, uh, adjustable interior lights, as well as our push button for our fog lights and our rear bed lights. Uh, on the dash, we've got the seven inch cluster display which comes with the, the Warlock. As you can see, it is customizable. We've got multiple options as in tire pressure, we get trans temperature, oil temperature, oil life, which is always key and important to know on your daily routes, uh, a gauge summary, which gives you obviously a combination of everything and total engine hours for the vehicle. There's multiple options in here that you can go through. Typically the most popular is gonna be the speedometer. Also on here, you see you've got your temperature gauge, your battery gauges, your oil temp gauge, and your gas gauge in the bottom right hand corner. As we move to the steering wheel, as you can see, there's the multi-function uh, display is controlled by these four buttons over here. We've got our voice recognition, which will give us Siri, our Bluetooth connectivity on this side. If we move over to the right, we've got gear up and down, which is gonna obviously allow us to adjust our power as we're going up and down hills when we need to have a little increase. Cruise controls are on the bottom, and on the rear, we've got our audio controls, volume, next, previous, and source. As we move to the center dash, you can see we've got our turnable power parking, reverse, neutral, and drive buttons with the four wheel below it. This particular one has the heated seats, heated steering wheel, and remote start features on this. So you're gonna have your heated seats for your passenger, your driver's seat, and your steering wheel on here, as well as the parking sensors for the rear. We've got 8.4 inch touchscreen in here with navigation that's gonna come with this package, as you can see here. Uh, this also has the media ports in here, which is going to give you the availability to have multiple input sources for your audio, Bluetooth, auxiliary cables, satellite radio, AM and FM radio. Our climate controls are fairly standard. Multiple inputs on either one, whichever you decide to use. Our controls are going to incorporate the heated seats and heating sterile, as well as the live view of your backup camera at any point in time. And our power rear view mirror that is dimming. It also has the assist and SOS buttons on here as well, which are very accommodable and easy to use once they're set up. Let's go ahead and pair a phone to make things nice and easy. Once we press the phone button, the initial setup's gonna ask us to do this. Yes, we're gonna bring up our phone, our Bluetooth settings, and we're gonna see Uconnect is gonna be right at the bottom. There it is. It's gonna then ask us to confirm our codes. And it's gonna start loading things in right away. From here, as we see, we have Siri right off the voice recognition button, which is on your steering wheel. Super easy and convenient. 
hands always on the wheel. You don't even need to touch your phone. We have the ability to input our favorite contacts in here, have our recent calls, a straight keypad, our normal full contact list, as well our messages will populate as well. If we wanna add a second phone, we're gonna press the pairing button, paired phones and audio devices, and then add a device. It's as simple as that. Follow the process all over again. This truck also has some great setting features in here, which can change your display features, how you want to have them set up, including your units to make things easy for you on the run, as well as clock settings and safety and driving assistance for our rear sensors, the sensitivity that's on them, as well as our hill start assist. The other great feature in this one is the actual plug that's on the dash. Very convenient and very useful. Once we throw our phone in the phone holder down here, you can see that we also have a cigarette lighter down here in case you also have some devices that use that input. The other great feature is the fact that we have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto right off of our media hub, which will provide us straight access to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto right off our screen. Oh, sorry, I gotta open up my phone. And you have to plug your phone, right? Yep. Plug phone, always. Maps are easily accessible on here, as well as uh, everything else that you're going to need through your Apple CarPlay. This one also has a power sunroof on here as well. In the rear, we've got full flat floor. We have rear storage bins and under seat storage as well to accommodate the premium bucket seats in the front and in the rear matching cloth interior. This vehicle is fantastic. Also includes the rear power sliding mirror with the rear defroster as well, which is another key feature which you don't typically find on these. This vehicle has ample storage in here, including dual glove boxes on the passenger side, as well as a deep center console. Under the first sim, you get your media ports, coin holder. In the second one, you get the deep storage bin to accommodate all of your necessities on your daily use. Once we get into the rear here, we have great accessibility with our power driver's side seat, 10-way power seat with the lumbar adjustments on here. Um, in the rear, we've got a center console with dual cup holders, secondary to the ones that are in the floor down here. Uh, we can flip these seats up on both sides, and we're going to get our full flat floor. Very easy to use, and it comes with large boxes, bins, and all the extra storage that you're going to need for it. Uh, underneath the floor flat floor, we've got extra storage. On this side, we've got the Alpine stereo system with the subwoofer that's built in. So if you do have the Alpine, you will have this in here. Um, we've got our full, flat, our full storage in there here, as well with the removable bins on either side, accommodating even more storage. On the passenger side, underneath the seat, you will find your spare tire and accessories to switch your tires if need be. Remember, with the all-terrain package of this vehicle, you are gonna get the full-size spare tire on this vehicle as well.